Welcome to Meals in Moments, where I invite some well-known faces round to cook their favourite recipes. Across the series, we'll be getting some great ideas from your favourite celebrities for some easy and delicious meals that can be served up in no time. My guest today is one of the most famous faces in interior design. She was part of the classic Changing Rooms team. Then we saw a different side to her when she was in the jungle in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. It's Linda Barker. Do you always cook? Like I that? love cook. Oh, like this? Yeah. I always cook, not always like this. Well, yeah, I, a bit of daytime sequins for you. Nice. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm very flattered. Because your foodie butter is quite good, because your dad was a butcher and you were born on a farm. Yeah, our food was such a kind of intrinsic part of my growing up. We were brought up on a cattle farm, so meat was a big part of my growing up, really. But also the, the kind of kitchen garden was really important. And Linda's dish today is a real tribute to her upbringing. Beautiful seared beef with garden vegetables and a potato salad. What do we need first? Well, I think we should get the potatoes underway. I'm going to boil a few new potatoes, All but right. then chop up, I don't know, about three or four with my sweet potato and roast so do you want to, What would you like me to do? I'd love you to prepare the beef. Now, from a farm, how did you end up as an interior designer? I don't know where it came from. My mum was quite creative. I mean, she used to make all our clothes as kids, and she was always kind of painting and flower arranging, all that kind of we, stuff. Were you good at art at school? I was really good at art. At I was. Because the thing is, because I, I also was uh, an art student. I did fashion textiles. Oh, were you? Yeah, I did fashion textiles at Leicester. Oh, it's such a... Oh, being in a creative industry, I think, is fantastic. This is going straight. I've just put sea salt on those. I'm going to put some thyme in and then just chuck it in. Because when, when Change Rooms on, which was such an enormous, enormous success... Yeah. Did people think that, you know, that you weren't a real interior no. designer? I like to think they knew exactly how I was a designer because I was doing some good stuff, really unusual stuff. It was a fantastic show to work on. Yeah. So, whilst the beef sears, Linda gets to work on her mustard dressing. She first grinds up some sea salt and garlic in a pestle and mortar, then adds a dollop of Dijon mustard for heat, a drop of balsamic vinegar for a mild sharpness, and a little olive oil and mayonnaise for body. Then she mixes it until smooth and creamy. Next, it's the garden vegetables. When you're in the jungle, that series that you were on with Phil and Auntie Roll Thompson, yeah. the three of you became really good mates. We did. It was amazing that to be yeah. on that. It, what hard is a difficult word to use really because actually we were all behaving like kids because it, it was not like work you know you yeah. were in this environment you had no phones going you had, didn't run a diary you didn't really you know had no children to look after my husband was well you know it yeah. was just like you were free so does Anthony teach you to cook or, you <laughs> into, or is it the way around oh bless you oh my goodness uh, he, t he was doing all the cooking in the jungle uh, and he made like very meagre provisions go a long way. He's funny because he smuggled in some spices into the jungle. Yeah, and salt, that. actually salt. We were yeah. really wanting salt. So if you're out, what, what would you like to eat or what kind of things do you like to eat? I like stuff that I wouldn't normally cook. I would, I, well, I love like it, uh, Indian. I love dals and, and you know, lentils and, and spices, really yeah. good flavourings. Big flavours. Big flavours, yeah. yeah. Cos this is quite big flavoured, isn't it? You know, your dressing yeah. is kind of has got some big power in it. Yeah. Right, go for it. So what do we need to do to assemble? Do you know what? I could even do it on, on one of your big chopping boards. That would look beautiful. I'm loving this um, slice Feel of tree. Free. So, do you think that's part of the secret to, particularly say something like interior design, that you will see beauty or you'll see potential in something that may be... The average person doesn't particularly yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, a little bit different, yeah. yeah. So what? even something like that, you know, that you'd reach straight for that rather yeah. than, you know, wanting a, wanting a plate yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to cut the beef then. Fine. Nice piece of rested beef. <gasps> That's beautiful, that beef. And just the thinner, the better. Actually, it's perfectly cooked. Really super thin, hence that sort of carpaccio style. This is lovely. Yeah. So I'm just going to layer that on yeah. and then sprinkle it with just a few more salad ingredients. So I'll put some peas on it now. And the idea is that I would make this at home and just put the platter right in the middle of the dining table and people help themselves. 
That's what's lovely about home cooking, I think. Yeah. Why are the sweet potatoes in with your potato salad as well? Just, just, um, just I preference. Love, yeah, just like the different tastes, really. Different tastes, different textures. This is so simple. Dead simple. Okay, so now we've got now we've got our spuds. So we've got some boiled ones in here. So I'm going to chop those up, maybe just into quarters. Actually, keep skin on. So my roast potatoes. How about? Is that meet with your? Oh, that's beautiful. That meet with your design yeah, it approval, does. <laughs> Lady Barker. It does. I'm quite sad like that. <laughs> you want to get out more, Barker? <laughs> This is lovely. I can't believe how delicious those are, to be honest. Simply cubed sweet potato and ordinary potato, skin on, roasted with a little bit of thyme. Everybody knows how to make potato salad, so, you know, have a go at just doing a, something a little bit different. Make it a bit of a surprise. Have you ever thought about doing things like food styling? Because, I mean, this is, this is beautiful. Uh, well, no, I haven't at all, but I think the look of a dish is really important, isn't it? So. Yeah. I could, I could quite happily get into, into that. Well, I think we're nearly done. I'm just going to drizzle the dressing. And I love this platter you've got. So the that's thing me is, done. though, it looks absolutely beautiful, but it's been dead easy. I'm ready for a taste. Thank you. It's fantastic. So, to make Linda's stunning and simple seared beef with garden vegetables and a mixed potato salad, all you have to do is first, oil and season some beef fillet, place it in a hot pan, and sear it on all sides. Boil some of the new potatoes until tender, roughly chop them up with the sweet potatoes, place them on a baking tray and drizzle with olive oil. Season with salt, pepper and thyme and bake for 20 minutes. Then boil some peas. For the dressing, just grind garlic and salt in a pestle and mortar with mustard, balsamic vinegar and mayonnaise, then stir in the olive oil. Now all the potatoes should be ready. Mix them together in a bowl with more mayonnaise to serve Get a platter and layer on the salad with the cooked peas and chopped spring onions and top with the sliced seared beef. Drizzle with the tangy mustard dressing and serve with a mixed potato salad. A great dish for all the family to share. This does look delicious. It's a good piece of meat, isn't it? Do you always just do it with fillet? Would you ever do it with anything else? If you're going to do it, do it with fillet. You know, if you're, if you're strapped for cash, still do it with fillet, but have more veg and less meat. Mm. <laughs> It's good, huh? Better than good. The dressing's amazing, actually. A really punchy dressing. All the veggies, you can taste them all. You can taste the pea shoots, you can taste the watercress, the rocket. I mean, it is, if you take it back to, to your Yorkshire days, mm. is meat and, well, several veg. Now you're talking. Mm.